Here's how I style my Red Wing boots. Plus, I'm also shouting out how some other people style their Red Wings in ways that I think are really cool and creative. I'm covering the Red Wing Iron Ranger, the Mock Toe, the Chelsea, and some lesser known boots like the Sawmill. Let's start off with the Iron Ranger. The Red Wing Iron Ranger is built on Red Wing's number eight bump toe last. What does that mean exactly? Let's take a look at the toe box of the Iron Ranger compared to something much more slim and sleek, the Thursday Captain. You can see the extra height in the toe, but the rest of the boot throughout the waist and instep isn't really bulky at all. I think the extra size of the boot in the toe means you have some options with the types of pants you wear. Personally, I'd avoid anything with too much taper below the knee. A slim tapered jean can work, but a skinny jean is gonna make these boots look ridiculous. My personal favorite fit for jeans when pairing with an Iron Ranger or any of my Red Wing boots for that matter is a straight cut jean with a cuff at the bottom. I know a lot of you guys don't like the cuff look, that's fine. A slim straight or just a regular straight cut jean won't overwhelm the Iron Ranger like it would with a slimmer, more narrow boot. I'd always avoid relaxed cut jeans with boots. I think they just swallow up the boot and they don't really look all that great. Even dudes with bigger thighs can usually fit into a straight cut pair of jeans and the look is a lot more crisp. Obviously, denim is a standard go-to look with the Iron Rangers, but I also really like pairing chinos with my Iron Rangers. All of chinos give the Iron Ranger a military aesthetic, which you can choose to play up with a work shirt on top. Or if you want a different look, you can also try navy chinos. I have the 8111 Amber Harness Iron Ranger, and I think that the chocolatey brown leather pairs extremely well with indigo and navy. Since the Iron Ranger is casual, the more faded your jeans are, the better. While these boots look awesome with crisp new denim, I like wearing them with much more broken in looks like these. As for the Red Wing Classic Mock Toe, I have mine in Slate Mule Skinner, and I love that leather. But the more that I see the Oro Legacy 875 leather, the more I realize that's the ticket. The way the Oro Legacy leather patinas is incredible. Check out some of these shots here. The Mock Toe is built on Red Wing's 23 last, which has more room in the instep than the number eight last, and it's just generally boxier throughout. Despite the bulkier look, I think you could probably still rock slim tapered jeans, but I definitely prefer a straight cut below the knee. So slim straight or just straight cut for your jeans. While tape works for the Iron Ranger, I think it's best to keep a straight cut with the 23 Red Wing last. So that also means the same for the Sawmill, which is a winter ready mock toe. I'm a big fan of flannels with these boots as well. As for jeans, a couple favorites are Rowley Denim Workshop, the Levi's 501, and Flint and Tinder. Mock toe boots are ideal fall weather boots in pretty much any leather color. So I'm going to be wearing wax canvas jackets all season long. Like for instance, this is the Flint and Tinder flannel lined wax jacket in olive. So sweet. Olive is a neutral color, so this jacket is going to match the indigo and brown look just as much as it would with black jeans and a black pair of boots. Again, I always seem to cuff my jeans with the Red Wing Mock Toe. I think it's just instinctual. Obviously, you don't have to, but I do. As for the Slate Mule Skinner leather, it's gray, but I wear it basically as if it were a brown pair of boots rather than if it was a pair of black boots. I know Red Wing just launched an Iron Ranger in that same Slate Mule Skinner leather. I would pair this with green, navy, brown, and you could even go warmer too, pairing it with reds, yellows, and oranges. The Red Wing Classic Chelsea definitely has the look of a work boot, so the more you can lean into that rugged look, the better. This certainly isn't a dressy looking Chelsea at all, and because it's built on the number eight bump toe last, a lot of what applies to the Iron Ranger and the Blacksmith also applies here. But the classic Chelsea still looks bulkier than the Iron Ranger because of that wedge sole. So in this case, I would stick to no taper below the knee, only slim straight and straight cuts. I find that I don't really like chinos as much with the Chelsea. These are definitely boots built for denim. I also have a pair of canvas work pants that look really good when paired with a Red Wing classic Chelsea. I lean toward the workwear aesthetic more with the classic Chelsea, with the Mock Toe and Iron Ranger, I think you get a lot more versatility. Uh, you could definitely weave in some more military aesthetics and even go a bit preppy with sweaters and blazers with both the Iron Ranger and the Mock Toe. Personally, I think the Red Wing Classic Chelsea is pretty mm -hmm. ugly, so I've been using mine for working and trudging through the snow during last winter. I actually wear them pretty often and they are super, super comfortable, but they're definitely not my go-to boot for style purposes. If you wanna see five of my favorite Red Wing Iron Ranger outfits, you can hit that video right there. I'll see you in the next video, and until then, put your best boot forward.